reception. It's lovely to see you again. Welcome to my phase two tricky word to keep recap. First we're going to revisit all the phase two sounds and then after that we're going to sing our favourite tricky word song. How exciting. But before we can do that I need to know that you're ready to learn. So you need to be showing me the four rules of good listening. Do you remember what they are? Good listening is sitting still. Good listening is staying quiet. Good listening is looking at the person who's talking. And good listening is listening to all of the words. Well done. I can see that you're ready to learn. I'm going to get my flashcards and I want you to use your big voices. Ready? T H E spells the the. Draw my body, my hat, and my boots. I. G O. Let's go. Go. N O spells no. N O spells no. No. Into. Two. To the shop. Lovely. Now it's time for our tricky word song. Are you ready? Glad voices now. Tricky words. These are tricky, 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 tricky words that you can learn, learn, learn. These tricky words. Don't let them trick you. They are just tricky words. Don't let them trick you. Say hello to I. Hello I. creating my very own tricky word board game. You can make one of these at home. All you'll need is a piece of paper and a pen and your tricky words. For now, you can play with me. Just keep watching. Are you ready to play my board game? I will tell you the rules. I have a counter and you have a counter. And we're each going to take turns to roll the dice. You'll roll the dice and then you have to go on to the right number. So if you roll two, you'll need to get your counter and roll one, two. And then you need to read the tricky word. Okay? The first one to get to the snake's head wins. Are you ready? I haven't got a dice. If you haven't got a dice either, then you can go onto Google Dice and that load of dices will appear on your screen. All you'll need to do is press the bot button to roll. Shall we have a go? You can be the red counter and you can go first. I'll roll the dice for you. I wonder what number you will land on. Number three. Your counter can move three spaces. One, two, three. What tricky word have you landed on? Take a look. T H E spells the. Tricky word the. Right, it's my turn. I've landed on one, so I'm only going to move into a one space. What tricky word have I got? I can see that I've got the th sound at the beginning. It's tricky word into. 
now it's your turn. I wonder who's going to win. What number have you landed on? Three. One, two, three. What tricky words have you landed on? You've nearly won. N O spells no. Well done. My turn. Four. One, two, three, four. I'm catching up with you. What tricky word have I landed on? It's a tricky word. It's got a T and an O in it. Two. To the shop. Your turn. One. You have won the game. Well done. Now I have another game to play and Ella is going to help us. I have got a voice changing cube with lots of different pictures of different things that have different voices on. The rules of the game are to roll the cube and to see what voice you land on. If you land on the robot or any others, you'll have to change your voice and read the tricky words. So if it is the robot, you land on, you'll have to read the tricky words with a robot voice, just like this in do I the to go no there we go is that funny Ella? right then we're going to let Ella have a go first okay? right then off we go Ella has landed on the ghost, so she's going to have to use a ghost voice. Can you join in? What would your ghost voice sound like if you were a ghost? Ready, Ella? No! Into! I! The! To! Go! No! Well done, Ella. Now it's my turn. I'm going to roll the cube. I have landed on the mouse, so I'm going to have to use a squeaky voice. Can you join in with your squeaky voice? No. Into. I. The. To. Go. No. Right, then it's your turn to roll the dice. <laughs> Ella has landed on the alien. Have you got your alien voice ready, Ella? Yes. Have you all got your alien voices ready? What would you sound like if you were an alien? Off we go. Well done. Today we've revisited all our phase two tricky words. For your challenge at home, why don't you make one of the games that we played today? If you'd like to have a go at making our voice changing game, all you'll need is a cube. I use a Rubik's cube, but you could just use a box. And then I stuck pieces of paper on each side and I thought about all the funny voices that I could think of and drew pictures on each side. I hope you enjoyed my phonics lesson today. See you soon.